And welcome to Hannity. New York City Mayor Eric Adams once promised a sanctuary for all illegal immigrants. Well, now he's actually blaming Texas for Joe Biden's border crisis and is inviting Governor uh, Abbott to spend the night in an illegal immigrant shelter. Why don't you invite Joe Biden to do it? I'd even go and hang out with him. That's all coming up. We'll get Craig, uh, Governor Abbott's reaction tonight. Plus, we will detail the very latest brazen crimes carried out by some of the so-called asylum seekers. We'll also introduce you to a new serious threat posed by the border crisis. Tuberculosis and measles are now spreading like wildfire at an illegal immigrant shelter in Chicago. Multiple shelters, actually. But first, with just 200, take a look at that number, 214 days until Election Day. It is an inflection point for this country. James Carville probably said it best. Biden's poll numbers are kind of like seeing grandma naked. Not a good sight. And because Biden is not willing or able to work harder or pound the campaign trail or change course on some of his idiotic policy decisions, well, he's really left with only two options. One, he can follow his wife's lead and deny the existence of these polls. Two, he can hire new internal poster, pollsters and fire the old guys, and hopefully the new people will give him more favorable results. And tonight, it looks like he's going with option door number two. According to Politico, some brand new pollsters are now joining the t uh, Biden team, but I'm not sure Joe's going to like the results. Not only does Biden struggle in a head to head matchup with Donald Trump, but his numbers get even worse when you throw RFK Jr. into the mix. Or as Politico put it, quote, how Robert F. Kennedy Jr. could doom Joe Biden. Now, for millions of far left Americans disillusioned with Biden's incompetence, well, Kennedy would probably be an obvious choice. By the way, when I met him, we did a town hall with him. I actually liked him. Uh, good guy. I think some conservatives think, well, he was really good on shutdowns and mandates and so on and so forth and vaccines. Um, yeah, well, uh, he's conservative. No. On top of by the way, he has been treated horribly by the Democratic Party. It's the Democratic Party that set up a war room to attack him in an unrelenting way. It's a disgrace, by the way, an utter disgrace that Biden is not providing him and his family Secret Service protection, knowing that his father and his uncle were assassinated. He deserves Secret Service protection, and all our politicians need to be safe. However, on the issue of Kennedy, well, he is what he is. He is a devout radical environmentalist who frequently was heaping praise on Bernie Sanders and his radical Green New Deal. In the past, he's called for a complete ban on fracking. He's applauded Obama's limits on oil exploration, tweeting, quote, hashtag, keep it in the ground. No, I say Bring it out of the ground. Anyways, campaign website, RFK Jr. promises to, quote, protect wild lands from further development by curbing and mining, by curbing mining and logging and oil drilling and suburban sprawl, as he calls it. Uh, this will undoubtedly drive up the cost of everything, especially housing. And that's not all. The Kennedy campaign also has a plan to dismantle the police, quote, Kennedy will reorient police to serve, not occupy, black communities to keep neighborhoods safe rather than harassing their residents. There's also a section on Kennedy's website about student loan forgiveness. He plans to make, quote, student debt dischargeable in bankruptcy and cut interest rates on student loans to zero. Who wants to lend people money and not get interest? Anyway, natural, uh, naturally, small business loans will continue to accrue interest. Here's another proposal that, well, bleeding heart liberals will find very tempting. Kennedy wants to slash the U.S. military budget and use the money for socialized health care. RFK Jr.'s running mate, very wealthy attorney, compelling life story from Silicon Valley. Her name is Nicole Shanahan a devout far-left Democrat. Notably, by the way, Shanahan has spoken out against in vitro fertilization. But thanks to Shanahan, well, the Kennedy campaign now has extremely deep pockets and will pose a serious challenge to Biden's reelection. If you are a left-wing voter, Kennedy, frankly, gives you all the nutty Biden 
Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal, climate alarmist religious cult policies, maybe without the corruption and sleaze and the chaos, and he definitely knows what day of the week it is. Got to give him credit for that. Let's not forget, at just 70 years of age, RFK Jr. is more than a decade younger than Joe Biden, and he's more with it. He also supports affirmative action. He cut ads for the likes of Al Gore. He supported Hillary Clinton. He supported Obama. He has supported every Democratic presidential candidate there is. So, for conservatives that maybe liked his position on COVID, okay, now take a look at the rest of the record. We're only giving you fact-based information here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.